one of the most frequent questions that we get at Brown and Crouppen is, what should I do if I'm in a car accident? So we decided to get out of the studio today, come down to the scene of a real accident, and explain to the viewers exactly what to do if you are in an accident. If you're in an accident, your mind's going to be racing with all the things you need to take care of immediately. However, there's one that you want to make sure you take care of first. You look around the car, see if anybody's injured, and don't mess around. If somebody even appears the slightest bit injured, call 911 immediately and get them medical attention. If no one's injured, I repeat, if no one is injured, move the car to a safe place if you can and just get it out of harm's way. In either event, call the police, make sure they come and do a report to get both sides of the story and get all the vital information from both drivers. Next thing you want to do is exchange information with the other driver. Now this is very important. A lot of people make the mistake of relying on the police report to have all the information. But quite often the police report's not ready for a couple of weeks and you need this information now if you're going to get your car fixed or if you're going to rent a car. So what you want to do is at a minimum, you want to get the other driver's name, address, phone number, their license plate number, and the name of their insurance company. If they have their insurance card with them, get the policy number also. This is all vital information that you're going to need. We all carry a cell phone, almost every one of us, and after you have an accident, one thing that can be vital is making sure you have pictures of what the car looked like, because often it gets towed away, you never see it again. Secondly, make sure you get pictures of the other car, because odds are this is going to be your only chance to ever see that car, and it really may come into play if you ever need it. All right, to sum it up, if anybody's hurt, you called an ambulance. You moved the car to a safe place as long as no one's injured. You called the police, they came and made a police report. You exchanged information with the other driver because you don't know how long it'll be before that police report comes out. And lastly, you've taken good photographs of both cars. And you know what, it's never a pleasant experience being in a car accident, but if you follow these steps, you make the experience run a lot more smoothly. And most importantly, the last step, call a lawyer because it's free to call a lawyer and have a consultation. And there are so many issues here that come up right away. It's a good idea to call somebody, get your questions answered, and, and then you've covered all your bases. Well, you make sure you do it the right way, exactly.